So three months ago, I have attended the UiPath MVP Summit in Romania. And during the opening session, they gave us all the microphone to ask one question. My question was clear. How generative AI and the models like the one using ChatGPT are going to affect document understanding? And from the answer that I got, it was so clear that it is not a question of if, but when we are going to include these models inside of document understanding. And the way that it has been included exceeded all my expectations because now it is so easy to create a document understanding project. And this is exactly what we are going to do today. So I'm going to ask you to open your iPad Studio and recreate the same projects with me because it is so easy to do and you're not going to regret it. With that being said, let's jump to my screen. Okay, so the goal of this video is to be able to classify all of these documents that we have here. As you can see, I have all sorts of uh, file types, JPEG, PDF, and PNG, and I have all sorts of documents. So I have an invoice, I have a passport, and I have a CV. And the goal is to take all the passports and uh, classify them and, remo uh, and move them inside the passports folder, invoices as well, and CVs. So this is the goal. Regardless of the file type, regardless of everything, we just want to be able to read the documents, either they are a readable CV or a picture, and classify them based on the information present inside of them. So let's see, for example, we have a passport in here. As you can see, this is a passport and the invoice is gonna look something like this. So here we're gonna go to UiPath and I created a new project. I called it DU and Generative AI. So Documents Understanding and Generative AI. Let's go to Manage Packages and inside of here, we are going to download a new package called Documents Understanding. So uipad.documentsunderstanding.activities and it should be preview. So 2.3.1. Let's click on install and let's click on save. Good. Now what we are going to do is look for the activity for each file in folder. Let's place it inside of here and we are going to retrieve the path of the document. So let's put it inside of here. So we're going to go through all the files that we have in that document. And the first activity that we are going to use is path exists. We're going to put it inside of here. And here we are going to put the current file. And we already, that's, of course, that's full name. And the only reason we are using this uh, activity path exist is the fact that we want to extract a reference if path exists. So we want to extract an I local resource, which is a, a variable type that we can't simply have. We have to go through this activity to retrieve it. But that's not important. Just, you can just create a new variable. Let's click in control K and let's call it I file. For example, good. Now we are going to use the activity classify. And let's use this activity classify document. And here we're going to keep the project as predefined. And we're going to go to the classifier. And we are going to choose generative classifier. And in the inputs, we're going to put the I file. And now we're going to go to prompt where we're going to add two entries. So we can have three entries. The first one is going to be a CV. The second key is going to be a uh, invoice. And the third one is going to be uh, a passport. And now we have to give a definition basically of the CV invoice and passport in less than 150 characters. So it should be like a really short description of the CV, invoice, and the passport. And of course, what better to do this than to go to ChatGPT and to ask it, give me a definition of the CV in less than 120.
Okay, so let's copy it and let's place it in here. Uh, let's do the same thing for invoice and passport. Good. Let's click on save. Now let's uh, go to classify and create a new variable. Control K always and call it classification. After that, we're going to put a message box just to make sure that our classification have worked correctly. And inside of the message box, we're going to say the classification of the document. Here we're going to have current file that that name plus environment or vbcrlf this is just basically to uh, break the line to go to another line plus is as following then we're gonna have classification we're gonna extract a document type that's that name and we basically gonna do the same thing plus vb crlf and plus another string with the confidence level now we are going to have classification dot document type dot confidence dot to string good Now let's launch our process. Okay, so it has finished. The classification of the document CV1.pdf is as following, CV with the confidence level 90%, 0 0.9. So it's working already great for the first one with a really good confidence level. Let's see how it's gonna work for the rest, which are actually images, not PDF. The classification of the document invoice one is as following invoice with a confidence level 100%. So that's really good. And it's basically going to do the same thing for the rest because I've actually tried it multiple times and it's working wonderfully as long as the prompt is a good prompt. Same thing, classification for the document invoice 2 is as following with the confidence level 95%, etc, etc. So I'm going to stop the process. Okay. Okay, let's see passports. I'm not gonna start the classification of the documents passport 04 is passport with the confidence level 0 0.9. So it is able to basically uh, recognize all the documents and classify them correctly. All what we need to do now is to place them inside of the uh, correspondent folders. So let's have a switch case. Okay, let's put the switch here. Classification dot document type dot name. And here, the first one is passports. So this is where the names come become so important. Sorry, and we have to change the value. So let me delete this and go to properties. And inside of, let's click on switch, and inside of properties, we're going to change the in32 to string. Good. And now, here we are going to, as I was saying, the uh, predefined uh, keys are really important, CV, invoice, and passport, so you have to write them correctly. So here we're going to have passport. The second case is CV. And the third one is invoice. Good. So in the passports, what I'm going to do now is is the activity copy file. We don't want to uh, basically delete them from the root. We want to keep them just to make sure. And we are going to take it from current file. That's full name. And we are going to put them inside where? Inside the passports. So let's copy this path. And let's put it here. And we are going to add the current file 
that name just so that we keep the same name of the file. That's good. And we're gonna copy this activity and paste it in the other activities. And of course, we're gonna change passports to CVs in here. So we basically change the last one to CVs. And here I have forgot a really important part. Sorry. Which is the backslash. All right. So the backslash is very important. Let's copy the whole activity. And let's go back here to CVs and paste it again. And inside of invoice, paste it. And let's go back to CVs and change the passport with CVs. Let's click on OK. And let's go back to invoice and change the passports with invoices. This way, we are going to uh, take every file and uh, put it in the correspondent folder. Good. Okay, so now let's launch our process. Let's click on the drop down and let's click on run file. And let's go, for example, inside invoices to see if it's starting to classify the documents and move them in their correspondent uh, folder. Okay, so it's classified the first one. Then the second one, I suppose it's already finished for the CV. And then for the passports, it's already, it has already finished. And let's go inside and see. And of course, we have the three passports that we have here. So a total of seven uh, files that has been uh, correctly added directly inside of their uh, correspondent folder. Okay, so now let's talk about it. Why this type of classification and this way of doing classification is very impressive. Because as far as I'm concerned, we have always been able to do classification using the usual models that we have inside of Documents Understanding. So as you have seen in this process, the only intelligent activity that we have used is the classify documents. We didn't need to talk about taxonomy. We haven't uh, talked about digitization. So OCR, taxonomy, defining fields and defining file types has not been a thing. So this is the easiest way to create a classification because citizen developer today can do the same thing without having to think about all of these things that we have been doing before. This is why this is revolutionary. And the only thing that we have to do basically is to define the document that we want and the value that we want from this document. So you can literally go to Google and take the definition of that document and put it inside of here and it's going to work. So it is development using plain English without having to do anything. This is why it's very impressive and I am really blown away. And in the next video, we are going to see the uh, data extraction, which is as easy as what we have done here. And then we are going to see a sign in different data extraction if the model haven't been able to correctly predict the fields we can assign that in action center in order for a human agent to be able to extract the right information so really i think that documents understanding and generative ai models have been made to work together and it's going to make it so much easier for developers and citizen developers to be able to create processes easily without having to deal with so much technical jargon. That has been me. If you guys like this content, please subscribe and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.